All right, the accessories you're gonna need with the full escutcheon, you'll need to have a cylinder latch, either a two and three quarter or two and three eighths, depending on the width or the depth, the depth of the door. And then you also need a spring kit here to make sure that the uh, latch stays together uh, with the escutcheon. The escutcheon comes with an installation guide to show you how everything wires in, where to drill your holes. It's also got a little template here, which is very helpful. Uh, to make sure that you drill your holes in the right spot. Really, you're looking at a 9 16 hole there and a 9 16 hole there. And those are the only two holes you should have to drill as this one usually is already drilled out once you pull the uh, existing oh, yeah. handle off the door, as we've done here. The easiest way to figure out where to drill your holes, if you grab the cylinder right here, you're gonna use this little rod that normally will go into the salto right in there. And if you put that in the middle, it's easy to use your template on the door to show where the holes go. So we got our latch here. When you put it in, you should see that much coming out because it's going to be grabbing the bottom and the top there, and then it'll pull the middle part. Um, so you wanna make sure you can see all of that inside the door. This is the two and three quarters. Um, if this was sticking out too far, you'd grab a two and three eighths instead. And then just put the screw with holes in there, and then we can put the actual um, circular in there, cylinder. So now that we've got that screwed in, we go ahead and put the cylinder on. You always go from the outside in. So you're gonna just put the cylinder on and it's going to grab right there. It's gonna grab into this part and it should just slide right in. So now you can see here that it's in and it's grabbed the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna put the little rod inside to determine where we're going to actually mount our holes so now we put the template over the top of that and then we can mark the hole all right so I've got the template so now this is sticking here and then you can see it's at two and three quarter on the top and the bottom so now we know that these are the holes that we're gonna drill so we're gonna use little teeny um, small drill bits to drill through and then we're just gonna make them bigger until we get to 9 16 inch okay so use a small drill bit to start and you're gonna want to make sure you go straight through the wood so check your drill both top and on the side to make sure that that bit is going straight through and then go ahead and drill through it. Okay, so now that you've drilled through, do the same on the bottom one. And then we got our pilot holes drilled, then we can take the template off. Okay, now that you've got your pilot drilled, you can go ahead and take your bigger bit and go through. Same thing on the bottom, make sure that you Get your 9 16 bit, or like we're doing as a one half bit, and then just make it a little bit bigger. So you kind of remount around the sides to make sure that it'll fit through. Now that we got our holes drilled, we're going to dry fit the um, escutcheon to make sure that it fits. And then if we can make sure that works, then we'll go ahead and put the spring kit on. The spring kit will go on the outside to be pushing that in towards the inside uh, so that make sure that this won't ever pop out and off of this latch. So when you grab your scutcheon, you're gonna to have to orient the, the handles. So you take off the cover, twist the handle, and put the cover back on, and then it will stay there. Then you gotta get the four screws. They're little teeny machine screws. Just put those in so that they hold the, the whole time. If this is on an interior door, you don't need to have a weatherproof um, rubber that goes on the outside. But if it's going outside, you need to have a um, weather strip right here, and that comes with a kit. Okay, now that I got this part put together, on the top here, you're gonna see a little hole. You can see it right there. And then you make sure that this part that has the pin goes into this pin hole. If, it, if you put it in this way, then it's going to mess it up and it won't work. Um, it's, gotta be make, it's gotta be going in with that pin hole because you won't ever be able to get it out otherwise. Okay, so now I've got it set in there. And twists both ways which is how it's supposed to be and then we're going to make sure that this is centered and we just go ahead and put that on the door as is and check to make sure it fits so we dry fit it to make sure that that fits you can see that the cable comes out the back um, everything goes in so we shouldn't have any problems with it now we're going to take this back off and we'll put the spring kit on all right so now we're going to put the spring kit on so this is going to go in there there's actually little holes underneath here so we're just gonna put this on and then we'll screw that on tight. So that these rods actually go into the latch right here, which makes this latch more secure so that when you turn the handle, it's only going to turn the center part and not this big part, which would then pull it off of the teeth right here. 
All right, so now I've got these screws set in there so that it's not moving. You're gonna put the spring on, so it's gonna go the smaller side up, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it back in there. Make sure that this, again, is oriented the right way so that that hole is facing up, which is, is right there. It's hard to see, but right there, you wanna make sure that that's facing up, and then it's ready to go in. So now that we've got it almost put together, we're gonna to make sure that those rods go through the little holes in the cylinder and the spring you can see on there, and then it should fit. Now that we got it pushed together, just hold it on, hold on to it, and then we're gonna put the back side on, put the two screws in, and then that's secure. Now the back side, we just need to orient this latch so that it's facing upward, and then we're going to put that over this rod here, and then make sure that it goes in there. First thing we need to do is take off this plate though. So the wire is gonna go through that hole right there, and then that's the screw hole, and then We've got this oriented and then the other screw holes down here for that bottom hole. All right, so now we've got it put together. It's just held there in place right now. Uh, so I just got to get those two screws, put one down here, one up there, and then that will be secure. Now this is the older version that has a Mac number like this. Um, you can see it right there. You got to make sure that chip is pushed all the way in. Otherwise, it will not communicate. Sometimes it gets loose. Um, people, when they change the batteries, a lot of times they pop the cover off and then they bump this and it doesn't stick. And I just tell them just to push that back in and make sure that it's, it's firmly in there. Or if it breaks off, you just gotta buy a whole new one. So just be careful with that Mac chip. The newer ones don't have that anymore. And then this is going to attach right to there on this bus and that gives the power. So once you've got it started threading, you just need to tighten it. Please take a T20 sized star bit. Some things take Phillips heads, some take T20, some takes T15s, it's weird. I wish they would keep the same ones. And then just hand tighten that all the way and then you're gonna do the same thing up here and then you can connect in your wire. All right, usually I wind this up just so it takes a little bit less room. And then you're going to plug it in. When you do, you're gonna hear a little beep. tells you that you've got power to it, which is great. Hide that back in there. There is a little cover that goes over the top, so you can put that on there. It just keeps some of the dust and water and stuff out of that connection. And then this part is all set. And it looks like it's working, so now we just gotta add it to the system, put this cover on, and we're all done. Okay, so you're just gonna put this cover over like that. It sits on right here. You can see this little notch on the top. That actually fits in underneath there. So it goes over the top there. And then what you do is you take the screw on the bottom. So there's a hole in the bottom here and you're going to actually loosen the screw, which pulls the screw down, which pulls this cover down, which then makes it tight so that it won't come off. So you just gotta loosen that screw to pull it down. Then when you wanna take this cover back off to change the batteries, you tighten that screw, which loosens this cover so you can pull it off.